So I recently bought this new all-in-one printer. It's a Hewlett Packard OfficeJet Pro 9010E and this does two-sided scanning but it's not particularly clear when you first use it how you get two-sided scanning because I found it was just scanning one side of the paper. So here I've got two bits of paper writing on both sides and I wanted to scan all four sides, so four pages. So I found the best way is to create shortcuts and you can use, you can create those with the um, phone app. And I've created shortcuts to scan directly into Google Drive or to scan to email. You can get it to do both at the same time if you want. But anyway, let's scan to Google Drive. And then this is where you then have to change the setting. So at the moment it's one-sided. Here you can change it, turn off one-sided and it goes to two-sided. So that wasn't very clear. You always have to change it to A4 and even changing the region settings doesn't default to A4. So that's a bit annoying. You can then change the resolution and then you can press go. So this is now going to scan. But what's also wasn't clear is it has to turn the paper over. It's not doing two-sided scanning in one pass and that wasn't clear from the specs. So it is quite a slow scanning process. So as you can see, it's only just started scanning. It's taking the first page through. And if you look underneath, that then comes out. Oop, I banged the paper tray there. Feeds it back in. It's then got to turn the paper around and then it goes back in to scan. So that page is now done and now it's doing the second page. So it is quite a slow scanning process when you want to scan two-sided documents. So that's really what I wanted to show because if you're looking at buying one of these they are rather slow when you're doing two scanning or if you bought one and you couldn't work out how you make it scan both sides that's how you do it the other thing you can do of course is plug in a usb drive so i'll just show you that when you plug in the usb drive it has to read it and that took quite a long time it took about three minutes but once it's done that you then have this new icon on the screen called usb i can then slip select uh, scan to you can then select your file type so I'll have PDF again. You can put a name, but I'll just leave it at that. And that's the only options you've got, unless you press the little gear cog down there to go in to it all. And this is again where you've got to go to select two-sided scanning. So you can put encryption on it, color or black and white. So let's say uh, black and white only. That may speed it up, I doubt it. And then this is your two-sided. So let's say, okay. Here's your resolution. Let's drop that down to 200. Uh, you've got a lot more options here. So that's all done. So I assume you've got to do a back there and then we do send. So obviously your, re your scanning time is probably going to be the same. I don't know whether that's going to take it through any faster. No, it doesn't. I thought it might feed it through over the scanning bed a little bit quicker, but it doesn't seem to. So that's your other option, and that's obviously when you're writing to USB. So I hope that helps. Click the thumbs up if it has. Okay, doke. See ya.